Heather here. So today I thought we could color this super cute Whimsy Stamps image called We Love You Bunches. And when I pulled her out of my color box, I just knew she had to have fun, bright colors. She just looks like she's got on a really cute outfit. I mean, these pants have little swirls down here and she's got a cute little heart and all these fun, huge flowers. So I started out by picking my paper and I picked this fancy pants hopscotch paper first and it's got tons and tons of bright colors. So when we get all done, she's going to look like this. And these flowers up here this time in your kit, they come in a multi-pack. So you may not necessarily get each of these colors, but you'll get the colors that match. They're all fun and bright and they match the colors on the page. So I've already stamped my image on Nina 80 pounds solar white cardstock um, with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So let's color. So I'm going to start out by outlining my image, and for that I'm going to use C0, and I'm just going to start over here right where her pants has this cute little accent over here. I'm going to start above that because I'm going to put some ground on there, and I'm just going to go completely all the way around my image with my C0. Get some of those little swirlies there. Around my flowers. And we'll get up here and we'll go clear around the other side. I'm not being too neat or tidy about it. I'm just squigging along a line around. Okay, let's do this side. I'll come back and get that B there in a second. And I'm going to finish up by stopping down here at her pants where she's got that little accent. I'm going to go up here quickly and go clear around my little bee. So next I'm going to do the skin. I'll do the ground a little bit later, but for now I'm going to do the skin. And for that I'm going to use E21, E00, E000, and for the cheeks I'm going to use R20 and R30. And this is just my go-to skin color. There are some more on the blog and I'll put a link down in the description box. And if you just look on the left hand side under labels, um, you can go down and it'll say Copic or Skin Tones Copic markers or Shin Ha markers if you're using those. And that'll give you a few different choices. Or if you have a favorite choice, um, leave it in the comment box and we'll try it out. So I'm going to start with my E21 and I'm going to start down here at her foot. I'm just going to draw a nice slim line right next to her pants. And then she's got these cute little lines in her toes here. I'm going to do just a little bit on each of those. And then I'm going to fill it in with E00. Just go right over that line and brush it out here, kind of swirl it around a little bit. It's kind of a small area, so I'm just kind of swirling my brush around and spreading it out. All right, then I'll go up here and we'll get our hands next, and for that we're going to use E21 first. And so I'm going to go underneath where these flowers are touching her, her hand. And get this side. And then I'm going to do these little fingers. She's got some lines on her fingers. I'm going to go ahead and get those. Uh, let's go a little bit on that one. And then same for this, I'm just going to use E00 to fill that in because it's such a small area. Okay, and let's move up here to her neck. So again, grab E21. And she's got a little fold here in her neck where her shirt is on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit in there because that's going to be shadowed. And then we'll get right here next to her chin. 
And I'm going to go clear around to the other side there. Oops, missed a patch. And then I'm going to grab E00, and we're going to flick on top of our 21, and we're going to pull it out into our white. And you can leave a little bit of white space in there if you want and put your E000 in there. I'm just going to go ahead and fill it all the way in. And we'll go up here to our face, and for that we're going to use E21 again. Zoom in there a little bit. So we're going to go right next to her bangs up here. And I'm just going to outline her face. And go back down around the flower. Like that. And then she's got this cute little button nose. So right on her little button nose, I'm going to do just a little bit on the other side. But then I'm going to give it a little bit of a line right here. Just so she has a little bit of a definition in there. And then we're going to grab E00. And we're going to touch down on 21. And we're going to flick away from our line. So we can soften it up. And we're going to do the same up here. So let's flick, touch down on our 21. And flick down here into her forehead. Go over that a couple of times. And continue over to this side. Okay, and I also want to do her nose. So I'm going to go right over the top of that and then go right up the side on this side over here. And then I'm going to grab my E and triple zero. And I'm going to fill it in over here. And then I'm going to lightly brush in here towards this white in the middle. Okay, I'm going to leave a little bit of white because I'm going to go back again. So I'm going to take my E and then we're going to add some cheek color. So I'm going to take R20. And I'm going to say it's right underneath of her eye right here. And I'm just going to give it a little circle. And over here, I'm going to go right here. And then I'm going to grab R30, and I touch down just a little bit on the edge of my 20, and then I flick it away from that 20 out here into our skin tone just to soften that edge. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to start over with my skin tones. So I'm going to go back with my E21. I'm going to start right up here to here, and I'm just going to very lightly touch down, and I'm kind of flicking it out here into her skin onto her cheek. I'm going to do, I think I'll do the same over here on this side just a little bit. I'm not going to reach her cheek on this side. Pull that dark in there just a little bit more. Then we're going to grab E trip, oh sorry, E double zero and we're going to touch down on our 21 and we're going to flick out here and I try not to touch her eyeball. Flick over that cheek. I'm going to come out here to where her nose is at. And we're going to pull from this side because we got to brush over that line. And brush a little bit over that cheek there. Okay, and then I'm going to take my E triple zero. And we're going to fill this little section in right here. But I go ahead and brush clear from the side, completely across the face. So I'm going to do the same thing from this side. And then if, after it dries a little bit, if you feel that it, the cheeks have gotten too, um, too diluted, I go back with my R20 and I pink them up again. And then again I grab my R30, so lightly go around the edges. And then I take my E000 and just lightly flick over those just to blend it. So now let's go work on her hair and for her hair I'm going to use E18, 9, 8, and 1. 
So I'm going to start with my E18, and let's lay down. She's going to have a part, so right here I'm going to put her part. So I'm going to put just a little bit of that, dab that on here. I'm just going to dab that on here. And um, say so your part goes up here. She's got some great lines here already. So I'm going to pull the part back here to this little bump right here. I'm going to say your part goes right like that. And so I'm going to flick a little bit away from my part. Okay, and then I'm going to go over here and work over here. And I'm going to say she's got a little dip right here. So I'm going to put a little bit right there. And here she's got a dip. So I'm going to put a little bit in there. And this one kind of looks like it maybe goes a little bit behind that one. So I'm going to put a little bit there. She doesn't really have a defined area for for her dark areas, so I'm just going to kind of add some where I want them to be. So right here she's got a little dip, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit in that. And here it dips down in, so let's dip that with... And we're having a very sunny day today, so the dogs are just... Everybody's outside running all over the place, so they think it's a free-for-all for barking. And oh, let's put... A little bit there and let's dab a little bit right here and then she's got a little bit of hair showing right here so let's get a little bit right there okay that looks pretty good for that side so this side let's go over here and conquer this side so I'm gonna make it dark down here where her bangs are touching her forehead And then she's got this one that looks like it rolls over, so there's an underneath section, so I'm going to put a little bit in underneath. And let's put a little bit up here on the top, too, where it rolls back over. And then it kind of dips in right here, so I'm going to put a little bit in the dip. And here it's dipping down again, so I'm going to get that curl down here, dip that in. Let's go up here. Here it looks like it kind of dips, so let's put a little bit of color in there, down here. I'm just kind of picking some sections where it looks like it maybe the hair maybe dips down inside and creates a bump. And let's get a little bit right next to this flower because the flower is going to cast a little bit of a shadow. Go around my little flower. Just adding a little bit right next to it there. Okay, and then we'll get this little curly cue because it looks like it's kind of dipping down. And then down here, she's got all these great curls. So you just kind of kind of pick, so like this one right here definitely dips down. So I'm going to add a little bit in there where it looks like it's dipping. Okay, and then let's go across, and let's say this little section dips. So we'll give that a little bit of dark. And let's pick a few over here. So how about this? Let's make this one go down. 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 Underneath that curl. Hmm, let's add some right here. I'm just willy-nilly picking it, really. going, Deciding where I want some dark spaces. So here's a line. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And let's add a little bit right there. Okay, I'm going to call that good for that E18. So now I'm going to go with E09, and we're going to add just a little bit on top of all these color, the color we just laid down. So I'm just going to go back and flick off of the edge of my E18 and add a little bit more of this color. Continue down here to the bottom. Add a little bit in there. I think I'll add a little bit on this side. I'll give this little curl a little bit extra right there. And I better not forget down here where her shirt and her hair is touching. I'm going to fill that in. And I think I'll do a little bit right next to that flower right there. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing for this side. So we're going to touch down on our E18 and pull some more color up. adding some more colors to that, softening my little line. So 
some over here. And oh, scratch up my pen up a little bit more. That's kind of a small area. And we gotta go around this flower. So let's go ahead and add some color to that. And I think, oh, I forgot this little section. Brush the edge of that. Maybe flick out here just a little bit. Oh, that's very colorful. Okay, then I'm going to go with my EO8. We're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to start over here and we're going to put down on top of our EO9. And we're just going to add some more. Okay, let's do this up. I'm going to fill in that little curl. And I think I'll actually add a little bit over there. And there's not much left on that side, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. And I'm going to fill that in down here. Okay, I'll switch to this side, and we'll do the same thing. So I'll brush a little bit more color on. Brush a little bit over here. I'll fill that in a little bit more. along the edge of this side here. Like I said, I don't really have a rhyme or reason. I'm just going in and picking some curls and adding a little bit of color. But at this point, I want to make sure to leave a little bit of white so I can put my EO1 on it. I'll fill that in there. I'm going to brush away from this like that. I think I will add little bit in here. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, and then to fill it in with my EL1, I'm just going to scrub over the whole thing. So I'm going to start up here at her, her part, and I'm just going to go in a little circle and just fill in that entire space. And if it didn't blend your line very good, I just go ahead and go back up here at my where I need to fill that in a little bit more. And I circle over it again. Kind of blend all those colors together. And we're going to do the same thing for this side. Go in a little circle. Work my way down. And then that didn't blend it enough, so I'm going to go back up here again and circle some more. And just kind of smush all those colors together. And that kind of lightens it all up and makes the colors all squish together really nice. It's in a nice light texture. Alright, I like how that turned out. So let's go down here and work on our shirt. And for that, we're going to use RV09, 06, and 04. So I'm going to start with my 09. And she's got this little bitty patch right over here. I'm going to fill that in. That way we don't have to mess with it anymore. Then we're going to go down here with our RV09 and we're going to add a little bit of shadows to... And I never use my RV09 hardly ever. This is probably the first time. So it's really wet. And if yours is really wet and you think it's pooling too much, if you just pull the other end of your pin off and let it set for a minute, um, it'll be perfect. It won't feel like it's quite so much. I'm just going to leave mine off and continue on painting. But if you want to pull it off for a second and then put it back on and continue, that's it perfectly. It'll work perfectly fine. Okay, so let's do her sleeve here, too. I'm going to go right along the sleeve, and up here where her hair is touching her shirt, I'm going to add a little bit. And let's do on the back side of this little line, too, because her shirt's, her sleeve would cast a little bit of shadow. And I'm going to go right along that accent. I'm going to put the lid back on there so I don't forget about it. And then I'm going to grab RV06. And for this inside part, I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in. So I'm going to brush over the top of, and again, that's really wet, so I'm just going to pull the other end of my pin off 
and that'll let it pressurize in there and it won't be quite so bad. It's just these are really bright colors and I don't usually, I don't think I've ever used these. And so they're new and they're very damp, which is perfect. It's just you got to make sure, you don't want a big old blob ending up on your shirt. So I'm just going to pull those off. And I'll just continue on, soften our line down here. So we're going to go over that cute little sleeve. And the same thing down here. We're just going to soften that line. Pull right over the top there. Right, I'll pull this up just a little bit more. I don't think we need quite that much. Maybe a little bit more back here. Okay, I'll snap the lid on the end of that. And then we'll go to our RVO4. Same thing, I'm just going to pull the other end off just so I don't have to worry about it um, leaking out in a huge dose. I'm just going to lightly brush over my whole sleeve in my shirt. I'm even going to do up here even though I didn't color up here and over there just because this is a lighter color and it will lighten it up just a little bit and give it that whole texture. So next let's go do the texture of the accents on our shirt and for that we're going to use Y19 and 18 and I missed a little spot on her shirt so I'm going to grab my RVO9 and right here underneath of her hand is a little patch of shirt that I missed and then I'll grab my RVO4 like I did the other two and just very lightly brush over that. Okay, so now for the shirt's accents, we're going to use Y19 and 18. I'm going to start with 19. We're going to brush just a little bit away from where these flowers are touching. And we're going to brush up from the bottom. And then down here, I'm going to brush a little bit from the side. And her sleeve's going to cast a little bit of shadow, so I'm going to go kind of around that sleeve. And then over here, I'm going to make it look like it kind of rolls over by putting a little bit. And I'm also going to get her pants down here. So let's add a little bit to the edges of her pants. And it kind of dips down in here, so if you wanted to, you could put a little bit in here to make it darker so it looks like it's dipping a little bit more. And then I put a little bit on the edge there so that it looks like it rolls over. Then we're going to grab Y18 and brush right over the edge. right out here filling in our white. So for her pants, it looks like we're going to use E43 and 42. So I'm going to start with my 43, and I'm going to add some accents. So I want to have an accent right here, some dark shadows underneath where her shirt is touching. So I'm going to go ahead and go all the way across over here. And then her pocket's going to cast a little bit of shadow, so I'm going to put a little bit right there. And then her seam of her pants, I'm going to put some right there. And I'm going to add just a tiny bit above this accent on her pants. And then for this side of her pants, I'm going to go ahead and brush right underneath of that cute little heart. I'm going to feather that out here like this. And I'm going to do the same thing at the top. Like that. And I'm going to grab my 42. And I'm going to brush over our 40, 43. And we're going to pull that out here into our white. Careful going around my heart. And I didn't go all the way because I'm going to do a second coat. So I'm going to again grab my 43. And let's go right up here. And I'm going to actually brush this side out just a little bit more. go around this side of the heart just a little bit. Well, I'm going to grab 42. I'm going to brush right over both those lines. And we're going to come out here to the edge. 
I'm going to try not to color in outside the lines. Okay, and I'll do this side. And we'll continue on down here. And just blend them out until they're as nice and smooth as you would like. And since I already have these colors out, I'm going to go ahead and do her gr the ground down here where she's standing, but I'm going to add E41. So I'm going to start with my E41. And up here, remember we stopped up here at the accent of her pants, so I'm just going to take my 41, and I'm going to start there, and I'm just going to brush... Clear around to this side where we stopped with our gray. And then I'm going to go to 43. And I want to darken it up just a little bit. So I'm going to go a little bit further down here. Go closer to her feet. Keeping my line more compact. Like that. It's not so far out. And then we'll grab 42. We're just going to add on to that just a little bit just to soften that edge. And you could have her standing out in the grass too, so you could do some greens. And then I'm going to go back over with my 41. We're just going to go further out. Let's bring it down here a little bit more. So next, let's go up here and add some color to the center of all of our flowers. And for that, we're going to use E1511. I'm going to start with the E15. So let's add some E15 right down here at the bottom of that. And let's do a little bit down here. And then we'll grab E11 to fill it in. So I brush right over your 15 a little bit and fill into the top. You just want to touch down on your 15 so that it will soften that line. And depending on how dark you want your centers to be, you could go ahead and do it a second time if you'd like. But I'm kind of liking that, so I'm going to leave them that color. Okay, so for our flowers, we're going to use an assortment of fun colors. So I'm going to start with my purple flowers, which are these little bell ones down here. And I'm going to do those V15 and 12. We're going to start with V15. And I'm just going to say that they're darker down here at the bottom because the sun's going to shine on them from the top. And then we'll get V12. And we'll brush right over the top of our 15 and fill that in. And you could go over these multiple times until they're as dark as you would like those. Okay, well next let's go do the blue flowers. And I made this one up here a blue flower and all those were the same. So for that I'm going to use BO2, O1, and DUP, triple zero. So let's start with BO2. And I'm just going to go right next to the yellow and then flick out onto this little line that's already there. So we're just going all the way around adding a little bit down here towards the bottom. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for these two. BO1, and again touch down, down, touch down on your BO2, and I'm going to just leave a little bit of space at the end for my B000. I'm just going all the way around, and back over here. And we'll 
up V000 to fill it in. You can also leave them white at the ends if you like it to look like that. That'd be cute too. This one a little bit more. Okay, and for this, I also use B000 to do the wings on my butterfly, so I'm going to go ahead and go do him now since I got it out. And I just went from the B and just flicked a little bit up, but I left it white at the ends. Okay, flowers. That leaves us with these two right here. And for that, we're going to use YR07 and YR04. So, YR07, we're going to go from the middle and flick just a little bit out on the petals. YR04 to fill that in. Whoops, looks like it's YR04. I, I missed one, YR02, so I better not fill those all the way in. Like, I'm sure I'll use three colors. I just didn't get it out of my color box here. Okay, YR04. And then we'll grab YR02 to fill that in. Oh look, I forgot this whole blue one here. So let's put some Y or sorry B01 on that. I was worried about doing my bees wings and just completely forgot about it. And then we'll fill that in with B triple zero. And these colors pretty much blend themselves, so I'm just kind of swirling my brush around just to fill in the in the area. I don't, it's not having any problems um, blending those together. And as long as we got the blues out still, let's still go down here and we'll add some blue to our height, our heart down here. And so I'm going to start with my B02. And you just want to pick some stripes that you want to do blue. So I did alternate stripes. So let's go ahead and do that one, and this one, and that one. And then we'll grab 01. And then I'll we'll fill it in with B triple zero. I'm going to brush down from the top just to kind of smush all the color together there. And I probably should have done the pink while I had those out, but that's okay. We'll come back and do those in just a minute. Okay, let's go up here and do our stems and our greenery up here. So for that, we're going to use G07 and G05. And let's go ahead and just start right up here with these little leaves. So I'm going to start with G07. And I'm going to brush just a little bit down here on the ends and brush up from that little line that's in that one. And this one I'm just going to pretend there's a line and draw a little bit in there. Then we're going to go down here and we're going to do the same thing to this one. And then for the stems, let's go ahead and brush some of this down away from her hand. And for the flowers up here, I'm just going to use this to lightly go around each of the little petals. And then I will fill it in with my um, G05. Just add a little bit of dark up here. Again, a Geo the Geo 7 and the Geo 5 are colors I don't use that often, so you may have to remove the cap from the other end of your pen. And we'll go up here and we'll fill this. Whoops, that was Geo. I evidently put the wrong lid on my pen. Sorry, that was Geo 5. So let's do G let's do it again. So this is Geo 7. And I'm just going to brush right over that Geo 5 I just put down. And 
I'm like, why is this one so much darker? That's what happens when you're putting them away and you put the wrong cap on there. Okay, we'll just go right around these again. It's just going to be a little bit darker than it was the first time because I'm going to add a second coat on top, which will be fine. And down here at the bottom. Okay, then we're going to fill it in with G05. Okay, so now we'll go up here and we'll brush right over that whole leaf. And I tend, when I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, tend to try to brush easiest. So if I brush back into the color, I tend not to color outside of the lines. And we'll swirl it around in here. A little swirl on each of these. And like I said, this pen's really wet because it's I never hardly use it. But this image just screamed, please use something fun. And bright and colorful. So I tried to pick out some really bright, fun colors that we never have used. At least I've never used them before. But she turned out super cute. Okay, so that is our greenery. That looks pretty good. So let's go over here and fill in this heart right here. And for that, we're going to use the sh colors we used on our shirt. So we've got RV09, 06, and 04. I'm going to start with R RV09. So I'm going to put a little bit of that down here at the bottom. Of each of these little stripes. And she's got a little bitty bit showing right here, so I'm just going to barely tap that and fill that in. And then we're going to go with 06. And then we'll fill it in with 04, but I'm going to go down so I don't color outside the lines. And it'll kind of smoosh all the dark back down towards the bottom there a little bit too. Okay, so that leaves us with this cute little bee right here. And for that, I'm going to use Y19, 18, and C10. So I'm going to do my Y19 first. And you just pick some stripes. And I'm going to do this very bottom stripe. And then this stripe. And then I'm going to grab Y18 to fill it in. And then for the alternate stripes, I'm going to use C10. I didn't add any other any other colors or shading. I just took my C10 and filled in that complete black area. So that is our Whimsy Stamps We Love You Bunches um, card kit. If you want to see if it's still available, just head over to the store and there's a link down in the description box and type in the little search bar at the top of the store, We Love You Bunches, and if it's still available, um, it will pop up. If not, check out some of the other um, kits that are in the store now. And this is our finished card. And this little saying here I printed out on my computer. I think it's a brush I bought a long time ago and it was just in my Photoshop sayings. Um, folder on my computer so I don't remember where I got it. It's been in there forever. But it says, Friends are flowers in the garden of life. And then to finish off my card, I used my stickle, stardust stickles, and I added to all the centers of all these flowers down here. I did the pink stripes on the little um, heart down here, and then I added it to the wings of my little butterfly. You could also do um, some clouds up here in the sky, and there's a cloud template on the sidebar of the blog that you can download. And then in her hair, I, of course, used my Spica Glitter Pen in Clear to add um, clear sparkles to all these little swirls down here and all the little parts of her hair up here. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun, um, and we'll see you next time. Bye! 